Well, today was obviously nowhere near my best. Uh, it's hard to start off with a fall right off the bat, but if there's one thing that I'm proud of, and if I can look for a positive today, was that I'm trying quads and I'm doing them every time out, which is really important. <laughs> 
你们在本赛季的最终目标是什么？ My goals for the season uh, include winning Cup of Russia, winning the American final, of course, uh, to win my U.S. title back, and uh, to win a medal at the World Championship, regardless of color. And um, I'd, I'd be happy with if all of those things come into play. And I, of course, want to uh, continue improving in my training and with the quadruple jumps, both the total and south of them. Um, just see what happens. I'm excited to start the season this way and hopefully the momentum will continue. I'm training to peep by the U.S. Nationals, and I've been training at home to, uh, doing two quads in my program, so that's something that I am hoping to be able to incorporate in the next couple months. Uh, my goals are to compete at Europeans and World Championship, and uh, of course to win. For that, I I will have to work very hard. So I'm gonna go home and and do my job, and that's it. Um, this is for all three guys. Um, with the start order of the free skate, reverse of the result of the shorts, does that affect you whatsoever? Would you prefer a draw? I never attended draws on a, on a consistent basis, but I think it's more comfortable when it's when it's open and it, you can draw your starting position and you kind of end up where you end up by fate. And uh, just flipping the order, it's a lot more stressful because it's very difficult to be um, in the position everyone was in and, and be in first and try to maintain that and have to skate last and wait for you know an hour after the warm up. So. You want to have kind of an equal playing field, and I think the best way to do that is with a random draw. I think there's uh, pros and cons to both of the setups, and a lot of times it just depends how you feel. Sometimes you want to wait, and sometimes you want to just get it out of the way, and I think for all of us tonight, it was a difficult experience because it's 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning at home, so, you know, I went out on the warm-up and I already felt like, oh, alright, let's just do this now, and as the time sort of went by, another hour, and then another hour, just waiting, then it's like, bedtime. But sometimes you want to wait and you want to have that time to like collect your thoughts. So I don't know. It, I think it really doesn't make any difference. I think uh, the previous version was uh, better. Uh, when it's open, I think it's less. It less. It influences less the, the judges. Uh, yeah. uh, this is for Adam. 
you skated great and you fought all the way through. Um, did, did it affect you at all um, how well Johnny uh, skated right before you or were you in your own um, mindset? I think I had trouble with the first element and then it's a little bit difficult to pick up the pieces after that, so there's no time to, to regroup. It's like eight seconds later there's another triple and then five seconds later there's another triple. So it was like, you know, two and a half minutes into the program before I got my legs back. I mean, so that's something obviously I'm going to keep working on, but I think that's what affected technical and component scores, I would say, really brought them down to the bit. Stefan, so uh, talk about your triple axle. Why don't you put to your uh, program? And second, for Jeremy, and uh, talk about your quads. Uh, are you planning to put in, in your uh, program? I to put your program. I to put in your so I made some uh, technical changes on on my triple axle these two last weeks, and uh, that's why I'm not trying um, triple in my program because uh, I have to get used to this new uh, way, and uh, I'm gonna work. Uh, on this for the cup of Russia. Uh, so I can do the quad toe and the quad toe, but with uh, my coaching change and uh, just different uh, techniques that Gillian uses as opposed to my old coach and um, kind of having the emphasis on competing with a clean program and com making a clean competition. That, that is coming first for me. Um, obviously you can win without doing a quadruple jump. As long as you're clean, everything you do is maximum that you can do and it's, it's well done. Um, the quad, I can land it, it's coming back, of course. And, um, I'm hoping to have it in a, at some point this season. I'm not sure exactly when, but um, it's just uh, a process. Get clean competition. The next competition maybe go for quad, maybe maybe not, and, and wait until the next competition. But quadruple jumps do not define figure skating or uh, especially men's figure skating to me. So um, of course they're important in the progress of the sport. But there are a lot more things that are interesting about my sport than a jump that rotates four times. Uh, 整个的滑冰，当然滑冰这个进展也不一定是嗯跳跃作为唯一标志的。我想在我的个人表演中还有更多的事情可以作为欣赏和比赛啊领取比赛的这个方面。So we take one last question. 最后一个问题。Stefan。Please tell me the reason why um, you change the jump, first jump, from axel to roof. From, 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 
from the uh, after, double after to double after the loop, the first jump. Because I was not, uh, I didn't plan to do the triple axel, and I already had one double axel in my program. So that's why I did, I, re I replaced uh, the double axle uh, for a triple loop. Um,其实我在这个最开始的时候没有在计划中有这个三周半跳的这个三周半跳，但是我已经做完两周半了。后来我改了我的这个比赛计划，从呃两周半改到了这个后外点评三周。